Hello everyone, my name is Sumi from ERP Hub. In today's video, we'll be going over Zoho Marketing Automation. Marketing automation is the use of software and technology to automate marketing processes such as customer segmentation, personalization, lead generation, and lead nurturing. It helps to streamline and simplify marketing tasks, freeing up your marketing teams to focus on activities that are more strategic and more likely to generate revenue. We'll discuss the benefits of implementing this into your business and walk you through the application, showing you how to generate leads, create signup forms, and much more. Let's get started. Marketing automation is a powerful tool for businesses that help streamline marketing processes and maximize efficiency. It enables businesses to target potential customers, track and analyze user behavior, and automate marketing messages and campaigns. In short, it gives organizations an effective way to increase customer engagement and reach more customers. Now let's talk about some of the benefits. First, marketing automation allows businesses to quickly target the right customers. By segmenting your customers into groups, you'll be able to create personalized content and messages catered for each group, making your campaigns effective than ever. For example, a business selling clothes could create separate campaigns for men and women or for different age groups so that messages are more tailored to their customers. Or you could create different emails to be sent based on where your prospects are in your sales process. Second, it makes tracking customer behavior easier and more efficient. By monitoring users' interactions with emails, website visits, and other activities, your businesses will gain valuable insights into what their customers are interested in and what their needs are. This data can then be used to improve and refine marketing campaigns, increasing their effectiveness overall. Next, it enables organizations to automate messages and campaigns. Instead of having to manually send out emails and other messages to customers, businesses can use these marketing automation tools to automate processes and free up time for other tasks. Automated messages are also more likely to be personalized, thus increasing the chances of them being opened and read. The last benefit is it helps save money in the long run. By automating your processes, businesses can reduce their staff costs as well as costs associated with creating and running marketing campaigns. Moreover, automation can help businesses avoid costly mistakes and ensure that the right messages get to the right customers at the right time. In conclusion, marketing automation is an important tool that every business must implement. By taking advantage of the power of marketing automation, businesses can allocate their resources to other areas of improvement, fostering growth overall. Many people are dissatisfied with the results of their email campaigns because they appear to be unsuccessful. Once they finish composing an email and press send, they start to wonder why their emails have no engagement or activity. Even worse, they're not reaching their ROI goals. Given how quickly email marketing is being used, it's critical to comprehend how and why it occasionally fails. Knowing what can go wrong will help you reduce risks from the beginning of the construction of your email marketing campaign and improve its chances of success. Now let's talk about the 10 reasons why email marketing campaigns fail. Number one is inadequate planning. Many companies don't take the time to properly plan out their email marketing campaigns. Without a clear goal, target audience, content, and timing, an email marketing campaign can easily fail. Poor delivery of emails can lead to emails being delayed or lost in spam folders. Make sure you use a reliable email delivery service and test your emails to ensure they reach their destination. Number two, no mobile optimization. Having a mobile responsive website is crucial for today's environment where everyone is carrying a phone. Customers who are unable to use your online store will go to a rival with a functional website. This similar idea can be applied to your email marketing campaigns. Most individuals check their emails on their smartphones throughout the day. If your communications are incoherent, lacking graphics, and unorganized, you will witness a lower engagement rate and more people will choose to unsubscribe. Number three, lack of email segmentation. Sending all of your email subscribers the exact same message is a big mistake. Instead, you need to be sending your subscribers various messages based on their behavior, they're familiar with your services, or any other characteristics that is appropriate for your industry and target market. Segmented email lists can be used for targeted and personalized email campaigns, and this could be used to boost your marketing ROI. Your email subscribers will start to touch your brand and be more willing to make purchases if you provide them email content that specifically answers their problems and worries. Number four, poor subject lines. There is no way that everyone can open and read all of the hundreds of emails that they receive each day. However, they will see every subject line. 
emails with bad or overused subject lines are much less likely to be opened. According to a study on digital marketing, simply changing the subject lines of your emails can increase open rates. Your email subject line will have a direct impact on how people open it. Therefore, it must pique the reader's interest and persuade them to open the email. Number five, inconsistent branding. You want your clients to feel as though they're receiving an email from a friend. Because of this, every email you send out should have a personality and a voice that helps your readers feel like they know and trust you. You won't get the interaction you want if your emails don't stand out from the competition and have a personality that defines your brand. Number six is too much frequency. Reaching out to your customers too often can make them feel like they're getting spammed. It's important to strike the right balance between reaching out too little and too often. Too many promotional emails can turn your audience off. Try to keep your emails consistent with your brand and focus on providing useful, informative content to your audience. Number six is a huge mistake people make, which is having a no call to action. Customers should be encouraged to interact with your brand in some way through your emails. Lead your consumers and customers to take a specific action, whether it's completing a purchase or signing up for a free webinar. A clear call to action will allow your prospects to move through the customer journey and sales funnel. Number eight is no use of email automation. A well-designed email campaign is a critical component of forming strong customer relationships. Your email campaign can be perfected to achieve your goals by having a defined schedule, objective, plan, and strategy. But you can't do this manually, especially if you're already overlooking with other projects and obligations. Using email marketing software to manage your email outreach is like having an extra pair of hands. Your emails will, can be configured on the front end with triggers that will send them specific triggers based on the actions your subscribers take. Nothing compares to the comfort it brings to know that your members are getting the information and nurturing they require to help them get closer to making the appropriate purchases. Number nine is no personalization. Your conversion rates may suffer if you don't customize your emails for your subscribers. According to studies, more than 70% of consumers anticipate customized information and offers from your brand. Organizations should make an effort to comprehend the customer's particular objectives difficulties, and barriers. I advise dividing up your audience into interest-based groups, sending out feedback forms, engaging with your audience on social media, and analyzing your website analytics are a good place to start. Create email campaigns that are tailored to your subscribers' interest after you've divided them into groups. Marketing campaigns fail is low-value emails. Many business owners approach email marketing with the assumption that readers would sign up for their list, read their emails, and then click a link to make a purchase. Although this is a doable objective, getting there takes time. To start, give your subscribers something of value without anticipating anything in return. Your call to action will be acted upon your subscribers if they discover value in your emails and it lines up with their needs and wants. There are many key features on this application that allow you to bring your sales and marketing closer. Lead management helps you to attract leads, nurture them in the best possible way, evaluate their sales readiness, and hand over the best customers to your sales team. Another key feature is behavioral targeting. Understanding lead behavior goes a long way in helping you deliver the most effective messages. With this application, track leads from your email campaigns to your websites to see how they engage with your web pages. This will allow you to gain insights on your leads' interests so you can give them the best possible service. Next, you don't want to limit your leads by allowing them to come from only one place. With Zoho Marketing Automation, you can reach out to your leads through a variety of different channels, giving them the freedom to choose how they want to connect with you. Plus, all of your lead data is stored in one place, so you can conveniently follow up with your leads anytime or any way you'd like. Lastly, this application has a Journey Builder feature. With this builder, you can create a unique engagement plan for every lead, nurture them the right way from the beginning, and give them every reason to choose you. With this feature, convert your marketing plan into a personalized journey. Control what triggers the program, when messages should be sent, and even how a lead should be removed from the journey. This engagement program is designed to help foster strong customer relationships. Now I will be walking you through the application and talking about each of the modules within briefly. When you first gain access to Zoho Marketing Automation, you will be taken to the dashboard page. This is where you can find everything that you need, including where you are in your journey, how many leads you have, and how many journeys you have as well. On the lead generation, 
This is where you can create your forms, lead sources for your marketing automation. Under the Web Assistant tab, you are able to create the code to put it onto your website. And also there are different ways of tracking individuals for that. The Journeys tab is where you can create lead journeys for our contacts. This is where you can push them through a journey and follow through with the different steps as it goes along. If you're doing a lead nurturing campaign, as soon as someone comes into your business, they get the first email. You are then able to track whether they have opened, clicked, or not opened the email at all. On the Leads tab is where you can keep track of all the contacts, whether it's from the CRM or whether you're adding them manually into the system. This is where you'll go to create different segments, topics, or products. Under the Engagement tab, there are tons of different types of engagement that you can create, including surveys, events, webinars, e-commerce. This is where you want to go when you want to create an email newsletter or any type of newsletter you want to send to your contacts. The Qualification Funnel is where you can add more information about your contacts and leads to make sure that we're selecting the best leads. You can add different lead scoring techniques, add stages and insights to those leads so it continues to attack them as they are taking place. The planner tab is where you can create different reports and you can also create your monthly or weekly plan so you can collaborate with your team and make sure your contacts and leads are continually being nurtured by you constantly sending information to them. And lastly, the library tab is where you can upload images, templates, and attachments to use for your content. Before we begin using Zoho Marketing Automation, there are some settings that we need to configure to optimize the functionality of this tool. Start off by clicking on the settings tab at the bottom of your screen here and on this screen, there are a few things that we need to set up here. First, we need to set up our profile. This is where you'll set up your name, email, country, region, city, and the lead name format for your account. Once you've changed that, you can go back to your settings. And the next thing that we need to change is our company details. This is where you'll change your address, website, phone, industry, privacy policy link, and terms of use link if you have them. And once you're done with that, we can go back. Sometimes when it comes to general data protection rules and regulations, you need to have this information available in case someone needs it. It's best to have as much information as possible and not have any issues down the line later. To do that, you would click on the compliance settings under general and enable that here. And what this will do will just follow email consent and sending practices automatically. Once you've done that, you can navigate back to the settings. And the last thing that we need to do is manage our senders. When it comes to deliverability, we first have to set up a sender. This is the person that the email is going to be coming from. This is required because without a sender, you can't actually send any emails out. Under deliverability, select manage senders. And once you're on this page here, you would click on the red button on the top right corner, add senders. From here, you would fill in the box with your email address, and once you do that, you can click on the red button where you'll have to verify your email address, and once you've done that, you're ready to send out your emails. Another key element on Zoho Marketing Automation is generating your leads to send campaigns to. You can generate leads a number of different ways on Zoho Marketing Automation by clicking on this leads module on the left navigation panel and clicking all leads. Apart from sign-up forums and smart pop-ups, you can add leads manually, sync leads from Zoho CRM, and even generate leads from events and webinars. You can import leads from various different sources such as Excel sheets, CSV files, and Google spreadsheets, and manage them by maintaining them under a mailing list. You can view the lead history to check the number of sent campaigns for a specific lead and the history of that lead pertaining to different lists. To add a lead manually, you would click on this red button here and click on lead. Fill out all of the necessary information, and once you're done, scroll down, and it's going to ask you to add the lead to the following mailing list. And the last thing it's going to ask you is select where the lead is coming from. And once you're done, you can click on add, and that lead will be added onto the system where you can send your email campaigns to them. Another key element on Zoho Marketing Automation is generating your leads to send campaigns to. You can generate leads a very different number. After you've logged into the system, Let's go to the Journeys tab and learn a little more about it. If you click on this tab, you have all Journeys, Journey Reports, and Journey Templates. If you click on all Journeys, you can find more information on the elements of a journey. You can navigate through the tutorial to understand more about this process. 
Under the Reports tab, you will be able to view the reports once you've activated your journey. If you click on the specific journey, you can view version-based reports, detailed reports, and action-based reports. And under Templates, you can create new templates to be used for your journeys. To create a new journey, you would click on the All Journeys tab, and then click Create Journey. When you create a new journey, you can start off with a blank slate, use a pre-built template, or even a saved template. Let's start off with a pre-built template. If you scroll through this text page, you can view various different types of templates for different uses. For this video, we will be using a simple template. Next, you'll be taken to this journey builder page. And on this left side, you can view this action bar where we can add various different types of triggers, processes, and end of journey actions. And on the right side, you can view the journey itself and they are color coordinated each section. The triggers are blue, the processes are orange, and the end of journey actions are green. And this just gives us an idea of what is happening on our journey. You can see that on a form submission, we can select the form. And every time a form is submitted, we can add a process where we can add a message and even set a delay. And after that process is complete, we can add an end of journey action. In this case, we are pushing the data onto the CRM two hours after our process is complete. And the process is triggered one day after the form has been submitted. When you configure the signup form on this section here, you can choose a form on the lead generation stage. However, for this case, we will not be needing this because we only want this process to execute for on list entries. So you can delete this section by hovering over it and clicking on this delete icon. Next, we want to click on select list here. We can select the list and anytime a new lead comes into this list, they will have to go through this process. Also, if you check this section here, then all of the leads in your list are going to be going through this journey as well. We don't need that for now, so you can just click on done for now after you've selected your mailing list. Next, we are on the process section, but it's important to note before that we cannot connect the trigger with the end of journey action. It must be connected to this process section first. Now on the process section, if you click on here, you can select a delay for when the message should be sent. And if you click on add content, this is where we will fill in most of the message. So here you can start off by filling out all the basic information next and for this section I'll be using a pre-designed template for the content and here you can further customize your template to how you want it to look and once you're done with that you can just click on next Next again, and then save and proceed. You can add further customization options here if you want, but we will just click on save and proceed for now. With that, we are done configuring our trigger in our process. After you're done configuring your message, you're going to see this exclamation point telling you to send this message for review. You can do that by clicking on this button here and this will be required before you move on to the last section of your journey. Here you can see that there's a two hour delay set to when the data will be pushed onto the CRM. And if you click on this configure section here, you'll have the option to push the data of both existing and new leads to the CRM or just the existing leads onto the CRM. We'll choose the first option here and then click on map fields. Choose the account and the module that you would like to push. And then map the fields that you would like. Here you can add more fields. And if you would like to remove them, you can also click on this minus icon. 
And once you're done with that, you can click on save and done. If you look through the end of journey actions, you can find that there are way more actions that you can configure. You can assign and remove tags, add and remove stuff from your list, update fields, push stuff to the CRM as we're doing here, or even move to another journey. There are a lot of options that you can use to help automate your business. I suggest going through each of the triggers, processes, and end of journey actions and understanding how each of them operate. For more information and insights on Zoho, please subscribe to our channel. We'll see you next time.